Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now today's video is going to be a little bit of a follow-up to the video that I created on making Windows 10 look like Windows XP. And that video as of the time that I'm recording this right now was uploaded two days ago and it's already sitting at over 24,000 views. So I just want to give a huge thank you to you guys for making that possible. And it's clear that you guys really like these customization videos so I'm definitely going to be doing some more of them. And in today's video, what I wanted to do was to actually go back to this video. And there were a lot of really cool things that you guys pointed out in the comments below um, that I did not do in this video that I either forgot to do or just didn't think of at the time. Now, I had a couple of you guys also mention a software called Window Blinds by Stardog. Now, we've taken a look at a couple of Stardog programs on this channel before, and I definitely want to take a look at Window Blinds because it appears that you have a lot of customization options within this program. Now, this program does cost $10, and I'm going to be saving this for a separate video because it does cost money, and I kind of wanted to have this previous video and this one right now focused on just easy and free methods that you can use to uh, customize your Windows 10 installation. But it does look like window blinds will make it a lot easier because it's just kind of a whole package that does everything uh, for you. So like I said, we'll be taking a look at this in a future video, but for right now, I'm going to be focusing on six um, awesome extra things that you can do using totally free software, in some cases not even using software at all, just you know, changing some Windows 10 settings to further make your Windows 10 installation look a little bit more like Windows XP. And we're going to start out with something that you guys may not have even noticed that I did off camera, and that is with the start button here. Now I had a couple of people point out that the skin that I selected in the previous video had a capitalized S in the word start. And that was, I believe it was this uh, second option right here. The S is capitalized. Now this is that same form post that I'm also going to have linked down below in this video's description. And a lot of you guys said you should have gone with this one down here because it looks more authentic. The S is lowercase and that's how it looks on Windows XP. It's a very, very minor thing, but I went ahead and applied this image here and it does look a lot better. It honestly looks way more authentic than this other one here. Now the second thing that we're going to be talking about, this one was a very, very minor, you know, very, very quick modification here. And the second one is also very quick as well, and that is the taskbar. Now I didn't realize this, but there is actually a way to apply a custom texture to your taskbar. And there's actually a form thread over on the Classic Shell forums talking about just this. Now there is a post on this form right here that contains this xpblueluna.zip file. And when you go ahead and download this, this link will be down below as well. Uh, you can basically use it to apply a custom XP skin to your taskbar to make it look more authentic. And I'm going to be showing you how to do that. So go ahead and right click on your start button here and go into settings. And then you want to do a search. Actually, you can just go to the taskbar tab right here. Check customize taskbar. Go down here to taskbar texture. Click on that and then hit this three dot button over here. Now I went ahead and downloaded and extracted this zip file here. Now the one that I think looks the most authentic is the regular XP blue right here, but we're gonna go ahead and just double check that um, in a minute. But I have this one applied here. Now you'll notice that uh, the little transition thing which is usually you know this like lighter blue is usually only in the system tray over here and the rest is that darker blue now the way that you can fix that is by going down here to the horizontal stretching and changing the border size so he's here put this at 200 let's go ahead and just put in 200 here so 0 comma 200 and you see that will make the lighter blue go way over to the system tray 0 comma 169 looks the best again it's not ex it's not exact for sure but the good thing is that we don't have to worry about um, Windows 10 like expanding the uh, system tray like it does in XP because when you when you click on this it just pops up with this uh, extra menu here now obviously it's not that way in XP because when you click on this it kind of just does that slide out animation you guys probably know what I'm talking about so there is one way that you can make this taskbar look honestly way better way more authentic but we're not done yet. The next thing that a lot of you guys point out as well is the cursor theme. Now, it's funny about this because I actually had the cursor theme written down. I just forgot to get to it in that previous video. Now, the easiest way to change your cursor theme on Windows 10 is press Windows key R, type in control, and it will open up control panel and then go down here to the mouse settings. When this opens up, go over to pointers 
and we want to change this from Windows default to none. And this will have just the basic Windows XP and prior look to it, you know, with the hourglass and everything like that. So we're just going to hit apply, hit OK, and there we go. We now have a Windows XP cursor. Pretty, pretty simple, right? All right, so now let's go ahead and move on to another pretty good aspect that you may want to modify as well, and that is your sounds. I had a lot of people mentioning this as well. I also had a lot of people saying why I don't use an ad blocker on DeviantArt. And the simple reason is that as somebody who relies on ad revenue to make money for this channel, I find it pretty hypocritical if I were to use an ad blocker and, you know, block ads myself when I also rely on those ads to make, you know, revenue for this channel. So that's why I personally don't use an ad blocker. So anyway, this this pack right here, somebody uploaded and it's, it's basically just a zip file that contains a bunch of Windows XP sounds. Now, all you have to do, it's its very, very simple to extract these. It is going to be a little bit tedious to actually apply all the sounds because you have to do them individually. So what you do is once you download the uh, you know zip file here, here is it still compressed. What we're going to do is click on Extract All, and you want to hit Browse here, and you want to browse to your C drive. You want to go into your Windows folder, and then go into the Media folder. Now right here you see we've got all of these uh, folders that contain sounds. What we want to do is create a new folder here. So we'll just hit, uh, you know, continue to authenticate it since we're modifying stuff in the Windows folder. We'll just call this XP. We'll authenticate once again. And we will select that folder. Now we hit extract. We will authenticate once more. And it will go ahead and extract all of those files. So here now we have a ton of XP sounds inside of our newly created folder. So we'll go ahead and just play one of these with our wonderful groove music player that takes forever to load. Uh, let's just play the error sound. Yeah, so there you go. Um, now the way that you actually apply these is you have to go back into your control panel. I just find it easiest to open it from run. Um, and then go ahead and you want to find your sound uh, panel here. Now in this, go over to sounds and you can't actually just you know select from here windows xp what you have to do is create your own preset and then you can hit save as and then to save the sound scheme so what you have to do is for every single one of these sounds that you want to modify you have to go in and change it to the windows xp sound so i'm not going to go ahead and change all of them but i'll just show you how you do it so okay critical stop here is like an error sound so to modify that we would click browse and then we would go into our XP folder here. Now it's very nice because in this folder, all of these sounds are basically already named. So all you have to do is find, so for example, we're modifying the critical stop. You would find the critical stop Windows XP version or Windows XP critical stop. Hit open and now when we hit test, it's the Windows XP version of that sound. So there we go. Now we can hit uh, apply and you just basically have to do that with every single one of your sounds you know that you want to modify then once you're done with all of that you can save that sound scheme so we'll just say xp and now if you ever want to change back over to your windows default you can just do that right from here and you know so we're just on the windows xp preset that i created there so this is a pretty tedious uh you know modifications you have to go through every single one of these sounds but uh, once you do that, it will definitely feel and sound a lot more like XP. So there you go. All right, so another modification that somebody pointed out to me as well, and it was probably multiple people that mentioned this in the comments, but uh, some of you guys said to disable the Windows animations in Windows 10. And this is because, you know, Windows XP, when you were to open up, say, you know, a window, and okay, well, my network discovery is turned off. You see, that was an example of the XP sound. So there you go. Very, very nice, right? But when you open up one of these windows, there's no fade in animation in Windows XP. The window just kind of shows up. So to make this look more authentic, what you can do is go into your modern UI settings application by pressing Windows key and I, or you can just, you know, do a search for it uh, from the start menu. And what you want to do from this screen is search for animation. And then you'll have this uh, option right here, show animations in Windows. You want to go into that and you want to turn off show animations in Windows. Uh, and there's also some other stuff that you can modify. You can uh, turn off automatically hide the scroll bars, 
because Windows XP, I don't believe, would uh, you know do that. So you can turn that off so that these uh, scroll bars will always show up. And now you'll see that there's no animations. The windows will just pop up just like they do in XP. So again, a very, very minor modification, but it adds a uh, nice touch and it makes it overall look a little bit more like XP. And that's obviously what we're going for here. Now, the last... Uh, modification that I had some people point out to me as well. I actually had a lot of people uh, mention this, and that is this program by Door to Windows called Customizer God. And what Customizer God does is it makes it really, really easy to actually change icons on your system because it basically comes up with this window here and you can go through and modify each one of these icons individually. Now, I'm pretty certain that you have to go through each of these manually to modify them. If you modify anything, you can always go back by just hitting the restore button here and it'll set everything back to normal. So if you mess something up, you can just hit that button to go back to normal. So I'm going to have this link down below to the door to windows.com website. You just want to go to, you know, this site, scroll down and the download link is right down here at the bottom and it downloads in a zip file. Now I should also mention that this is a free program as well. Uh, so that is that is definitely very nice. Now I already have it downloaded. I'm just going to go into my downloads uh, folder here, and it comes in a zip file. So once again, you just want to go into that zip file and extract all of these files. We'll just do it to our downloads folder. Now there is this uh, shortcut to the door to windows.com website. We don't really need to worry about this. It's just going to take you to that website we were just on. But the customizergod.exe is what we are interested in. And when you launch this, it'll ask you to authenticate. So we'll just press yes. And when it loads up here, for me, there's kind of a weird like graphical effect going on. And I think that might have something to do um, with the theme that we have applied because you can see that it doesn't really look like it does uh, in the screenshots here. Um, let me just kind of show you what I'm talking about. It just doesn't look as clear as this. And I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that that's just because of the Luna theme that we have applied. It's kind of taking effect. Um, in this program. So now you can see that there are some icons that are read only. Okay, so even when you don't have Explorer running, and I just actually killed Customizer God and reopened it manually from going into, you know, a file run to actually run it from this box here, and you're still not able to actually modify any of these icons that say read only. So that is unfortunate. So we'll just go ahead and relaunch uh, Explorer there. But what you can do is modify things like the volume icons, uh, the uh, network icons that are down here in the taskbar. Uh, there's a lot of things that you can do. And when you go down here to general icons, it comes up with basically all of them. These are all of the icons that the program allows you to modify. So what you basically would do is, and you can see that I have uh, modified some of them here, but you would just go and find an icon that you wanna modify. So let's say we'll do the full uh, recycle bin here. Now we already have this modified through the uh, Explorer, but we can just do it here again. So you would click on that icon, go to change, and then scroll through this folder and find the full uh, recycle bin, hit open, and then it will restart Explorer and um, you know apply that icon automatically. It still makes it somewhat easy. It's just very, very time consuming. It's a very easy process to do, but it just takes a while because you have to repeat the, the uh, process for every one of these icons in here. But I mean, that is basically it, guys. That is, uh, those are again, six suggestions that I found in the comment section below. And honestly, if we go ahead and get out of Microsoft Edge here, I mean, this looks honestly really, really good. I mean, we've got our uh, taskbar theme now. I think the transparency turned back on, which I don't want. Um, but it just looks really, really authentic. We've got that more authentic looking start button that honestly looks way better. Like the, the uh, you know little uh, curved edges, the fold up here towards the top, the uh, two-tone blue. So there you have it, guys. Those are six more modifications that you can do following that last video to make your installation of Windows 10 look even more like Windows XP. Guys, if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to get subscribed down below and turn on those channel notifications if you haven't already to get notified whenever that I upload a new video, which I do every single week on this channel. 
and be sure to drop me a comment down below letting me know if you guys found these extra suggestions helpful if you guys have any more suggestions that you want me to do in another follow-up video um, as I possibly could take a look at those um, as well but just any thoughts any questions or comments be sure to leave them down below as I always enjoy reading what you guys have to say and as always I just want to thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.